This tutorial is an overview of the quiz settings and options available in Moodle. From the main course page, first select the Turn Editing On button located in the upper right hand corner. Once editing is turned on, you will see the drop down menus titled Add a Resource and Add an Activity at the bottom of each module. To create a quiz, click on the Add an Activity drop down menu and select Quiz. Alternately, a quiz may already be created in your course. To edit it, Make sure editing is turned on and locate the quiz, then click the update icon. The update icon resembles a small hand holding a pencil. Adding a quiz activity or clicking the update button takes you to the updating quiz page. Here you can change the name of the quiz, add a description, set open and close dates, set a time limit, and determine the number of allowed attempts. As you scroll down the page, you will find additional options for determining question behavior, creating security and review restrictions, and leaving feedback based on a student's final quiz grade. This update page allows you to change settings to determine how the quiz as a whole will function. In order to add questions, update test banks, change point values, etc., Select the Edit Quiz link in the Settings block under Quiz Administration. In the Edit Quiz section, you can make changes to an upcoming quiz as long as no attempt has been made yet. To show the question bank contents, you may be required to select the Show button in the box located in the right corner. By selecting a category from the Category drop-down menu, random questions can be added from the test bank to the quiz. New questions can be created, and question point values can be changed. Additionally, it is on this page where you can set the maximum grade a student can receive for the quiz. Clicking the Order and Paging tab at the top of the page provides you the opportunity of changing the order of questions on the quiz and determining page breaks during the quiz. The Settings Block Quiz Administration section is also where the option to preview the quiz can be found. As the instructor for the course, the preview function allows you some tools students will not be able to see. As you preview the quiz, you will have the ability to edit each question if you find fault with it. Finally, in the Quiz Administration section of the Settings block, the User Overrides function can be found. This area provides options to change quiz settings for specific students. For example, if a student needed to take a quiz early or late, required extra time on an exam for ADA compliance, or a power or internet issue that resulted in the need for an additional attempt on a quiz. You could even set individual user passwords for a quiz should you be so inclined. For more information, see the User Overrides tutorial. If you have groups created in a course, you can use the Groups Overrides function to similarly change settings for an entire group as a whole. This concludes the quiz overview tutorial.